windy rainstorm whips U.S. northeast, cutting power, trains. New York, Reuters, fierce winds and heavy rain down trees and knocked out power across the U.S. northeast, halting trains during the Monday morning commute and leaving neighborhoods from Boston to Washington in the dark. Wind gusts of 82 miles, 131.97 kilometers per hour were reported on Massachusetts's Cape Cod, while steady rain from Sunday into Monday dumped up to 4 inches, 10.16 centimeters, of water across New England, said National Weather Service meteorologist Mark Shennard. There has been quite a bit of wind, and when the ground gets wet like this, trees fall, Shennard said. Amtrak train service between Boston and New Haven, Connecticut, was suspended early on Monday as crews scrambled to clear branches and restore power, authorities said. Connecticut commuters piled onto buses or sought alternative routes after Metro North Railroad suspended service on its new Canaan line and on its Danbury line, which it said on Twitter, was hampered by a mudslide and related signal problems. More than 800,000 homes and businesses lost electricity overnight throughout the Northeast, including about 300,000 customers in Massachusetts, 270,000 in New Hampshire, 142,000 in Rhode Island, 30,000 on New York's Long Island, 56,000 in Maine and 35,000 in Vermont, according to local media. Early on Monday, traffic lights in parts of Washington remained dark due to power outages. The storm hit the East Coast on the fifth anniversary of Superstorm Sandy. That late-season hurricane killed at least 159 people in New York, New Jersey and other parts of the East Coast on October 29, 2012, and damaged or destroyed more than 650,000 homes. The National Weather Service said the heaviest rains and winds ended late on Monday morning, but lighter precipitation and some gusts would persist throughout the day. The biggest potential now is for more trees to come down and for minor to moderate river flooding in eastern New York and much of New England today into tomorrow, Chenard said. It was not immediately known how long it would be until power is fully restored. Reporting by Barbara Goldberg in New York. Editing by Lisa Vaughn on